back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience wait it's simple me why go on my people? Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. Them see a child shall lead them, don't it? Only remember that little saying there. You are going for what I go on now. Sometimes we work really hard to achieve a goal which benefits those around us or put a lot of time and effort into overcoming a personal struggle but don't receive the recognition from our peers. Husbands, wives, church brethren, co-workers, children, parents, and the list goes on. It's not uncommon to feel unappreciated, detrued, devalued, and almost invisible at times like this. But God sees everything that we do and He rewards us for the good. We're not invisible to Him or without value. Guess what He is omniscient, He knows, sees, and understands. It's wonderful to know that this same God is watching over us. And it's not just so that he can make a note of when we get thing wrong, but so he can protect us and guide us through life's many twists and turns. The Word of God according to Galatians 6 verses 9 to 10 MSG says, So let's not allow ourselves to get fatigued doing good. At the right time we will harvest a good crop if we don't give up or quit. Right now, therefore, every time we get the chance, let us work for the benefit of all, starting with the people closest to us in the community of faith. Have yourself a wonderful Sunday. At the beginning of the year, me tell you no say, killed or be killed. I'm gonna make you know say record number of police that got dead this year because the police them so big on four four. You understand? Every single year them get up, but them want put man in a handcuff and carry them behind bars. But you see, when they see that a man but them. I dirt them, I get dirt. Well, I'm a bit. I'm so ready to try this up. Nobody rush the news. Don't rush the news. Make I start right as a first. A St. Catherine man has been slapped with several robbery charge following an ice at a store on Manchester Road, Mandeville, in Manchester on April 13. Charge with robbery aggravation, possession of a prohibited weapon, use of a firearm to commit a felony, and assault at common law is. 27-year-old Carlos Williams, otherwise called Pitch, of Port Enderson Road in St. Catherine. Report reached our news team from the Eden Department Mandeville Police Station that about 9.36 a.m., William was among armed men who entered the store and held up employees at gunpoint, robbing them of $8 million. Yes, people. $8 million. CCTV footage was used to identify Williams among other robbers. Yes, he was arrested on April 16 during an operation on Port Endes Road by, by CTAC. Mr. Paper, the CTAC detective, them lose them ways. Them stops up with people. Phone is just them start. Though. Anyway, gun finding a Portland.
A fireman five rounds of ammunition was seized during an operation in Buff Bay, Portland on Saturday. Report from the Buff Bay police that about 10.55 a.m. lawmen conducted a raid of an area when one spitter was a pistol with a magazine containing five rounds of ammunition were found wrapped in a blue cloth hidden under a tree. No one was arrested with that seizure. Anyway, people like come left right of Portland. Let me stop a sentence, no man. You understand? A woman was found stabbed today inside a bathroom in Ocherius Market in St. Anne Saturday night. Yes, people. She has been identified as Shanna Burke, a barmaid from Buckseat in the parish. Report reaching our news team that about 8.25 p.m. Burke was at the JB Idol bar where she worked in Ocherius Market when she went to use the bathroom that was nearby. Police said when she did not return, the bar owner went to check. This was when the owner found the now deceased lying on the ground, lifeless. Yes, people, lifeless with what appears to be stab wounds. She reportedly made an alarm and called the police. And so the police then reached upon the same people. Then just pick up the body and carried right up on the mag put it down for her eyes. You understand? Understand? Guess what? Investigation ongoing into that incident. As soon as we find out where we really go and where we really go on, oh no, no need to worry. Me I come back, come go now, update. But guess what? I'm telling about the police right now. You understand? This Iota, a long time in my try running, he's telling up people, me I go be honest, so do no. Him and the short police youth always are running. All you see them on TV when they call a short boy they against Sammy. Not the Sammy part, peace and call now go No, 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 no. no. Me I talk about police boy Sammy. Sammy, you don't have to go bust back some shot for this boy and find out how kill him. You know? Because you don't know here. You don't look about to know one care man. Go behind bars in handcuff. I'm going to look for the slap on the way. Anyway, people, let me go to the news. A policeman was shot and killed on Burke Road in Kingston early this morning. The police has confirmed. He has been identified as 30-year-old district constable Ricardo Jarrett, who was assigned to the Darling Street Police Station in Kingston. Watch I know people him never want him business go a road, but guess what? In business they are road. The corporate communication unit said Jarrett was dropping off a woman at about 3 a.m. when he was pounced upon by several armed men and shot. The CCU said his firearm was also stolen. Jarrett was assisted to the hospital where he was placed on ice. The I command has expressed condolences to Jarrett's family, colleagues and friends. It says the force is committed to conduct thorough investigation to apprehend the persons responsible for his death. Anyone with information may be able to assist the police in solving this murder is being asked to contact the Major Investigation Division, MID, at 876-758-5048. The police 119 emergency number Crime Stop 311 or the nearest police station or you can call your friend Sammy and say, yo Sammy, we know who kill your friend, you understand? Come, come slap them way because we don't want nobody to put them behind bars or dirt them to get dirt. Anyway, now people watch your one for one. Go on. Hold on, now my people make a go over to look a bit of politics. So the mouth come out and call the man chink and fly and the man say, all the mother still upset about it. If you don't feel like a lie, me I tell. Here ya. But then again, I'm not the first that he has disrespected and nothing happened. But in any other civilized country, a minister of government treating a citizen that way, you would have his resignation. Question that I'd love to ask, Everett Warmington don't know me. So somebody would have pointed me out and um, basically gave some information why he came to me in that disrespectful manner. We know him now have no manners still, you know, but for a minister of government to refer to a citizen of Jamaica as fly and flee and chink, is rather unbecoming and I was very hurt by it. I'm still hurt by it. My kids are hurt by it. My mother is hurt by it. And the people of East Portland are very upset. More than the fact that I am a representative of the people, not yet elected, but I am a representative of the people and I wanted to know what is happening. And I must also remind you, I was not the only councillor candidate our councillor caretaker present. The JLP councillor caretaker for the area was also present and she did not get abused. If I was a member of parliament and if and when I become MP and I take a minister to my constituency, I would not stand by and allow him or her to abuse one of my constituents that way. It was unbecoming of a minister and I'm very disappointed in my member of parliament that she stood there smiling. I say, I can't see the eye water and chop out of the man. Yeah, the man feel like, oh, yes, I want him to call him chink, you know. But that is not where that is concerned. Anyways, people, I still left on politics. What you are going now? I did tell you, you know. I did tell you, say this was going to happen. I did 
tell you, you know, they think I joke me, I make. See the PMP, them start fight against them one another, eh? Yes, people, them start to fight. But anyway, you are going one power, go on right there, son. I'm extremely, extremely saddened by the news to hear that somebody set ablaze or attempt to set ablaze the former member of parliament's office because that office belongs to all of us all of us as members of the people's national party to be brutally frank i don't know what caused the fire or who um, set the fire i don't know if it is arson i don't know if it was politically motivated i don't know if it was an electrical fire what a man lie about him and who cast the fire a pmp war against pmp and a pmp a labor right war no 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 no, no, don't bother come come say that. Member, member, go do know exactly what I go on, you know. You understand? Who no plan for kill off, who no one and that. The doctor boy no who still. The doctor boy see halls of them. Yes, the people them tell him, hold on. As we make the doctor come come talk. But we can talk to the MP for the ghetto first. Big Rob, what's your take on the fight over the ghetto? My grandmother used to say to me that cockroach no business in a foul fight. Citizens have complained about a lot of stuff leading up to their campaigning. I must say that in what transpired last night in terms of the former member of parliament office was lit. I do not condole those type of politics regardless of which divide. You know, I've instructed my team, my supporters to stay far from this venture. Anyways, all gloves off. Let's fight fire with fire. That's how Dr. Daza make you know, say, you know. And the people, them tell him how about the place. Yeah, if you don't think I lie, me I tell Daz, come, come tell the people them how go on. The torching or the firebombing of the constituency office is one of the darkest days in the history of the People's National Party, where people who claim that they are PNP supporters would rile up a group, finance them, and have them torch or set fire to a constituency office that is going to be serving the community and the workers. Since that red line was crossed, I have started my own investigations and I have the names of the persons who were in that car that started the fire. And I know who was the mastermind behind the whole thing. I am going to be turning over the names to the police for their further investigations and I'm going to hope that the witnesses who saw and heard of the plans are willing to step forward because this represents the dirty underbelly of politics and I am going to gut it. I am not going to tolerate a small group tarnishing the good name of the PNP in Southeast St. Catherine and on a whole in Jamaica. We must rise up as one and say no to this dirty type of politics. I reject violence in politics. It is no more simple enough to say nothing because as of 3 a.m. this morning, silence means complicity. I am calling on all well-thinking PNP supporters to reject and publicly denounce all acts of violence and intimidation that are towards me and the party leader.